Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today, we are in the Savage Wilds modded map, on the southern coast of the large lake in Map Square G9, building the Seahorse Tavern. All of the mods I've used are listed in the pinned comment below, so without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with, of course, the base plate. I chose to use the Dude's Delightful Decorations mod for the structure, choosing the tavern stone foundations and the pier shack material set for the rest of the build. I laid out the base plate and the room plan using the fence foundations, and then covered them with pier shack ceilings. I went for a really simple design with this build, that should facilitate an easy, streamlined construction process. This will initially create a really simple looking design, that I'll make more complex later on with roof design, size variation, etc. Next for the walls. Of all the different materials available, I chose to use Pier Shack, as it best fits the idea of what this build should be. It isn't in the heart of a city, and it doesn't serve a thriving village, but instead it's for a small, loyal crowd of hard-working fishermen and travellers that pass through regularly. This is a tough, no-frills tavern that offers hard drinks for hard men and women, and Pier Shack is the perfect rough, rickety material to encapsulate this atmosphere. For the ground floor, I built the walls two tiles high, leaving a rectangular section on the right side of the build for a patio area. Next for the first floor, I built a set of stairs in the main hall leading up to a catwalk corridor that will stretch around the hall, with rooms in the front left and front right of the tavern. I built the walls two tiles high in the centre of this floor, with a balcony at the front of the build above the front door, and one tile high walls on the front left, front right and back rooms. Next for the roofs. I started off by building roof gables onto the structure. The pre-planning for the roofing was fairly difficult actually, and it was a lot of trial, error and very slight adjustments, but eventually I got to a point where I created roof gables over each part of the roof in different shapes and orientations. I then used the metal tile roof pieces to create the roof, combining regular pieces with window gable and end pieces. The window gables are quite simple of course, but the end pieces really make this build unique. They are about a tile and a half wide, and extend out to the side to create a nice natural roof overhang. Tonally, the metal tile roofs don't contrast the build too much, which usually would be a detriment, but I think it works okay for what I'm aiming for with this build. Don't get me wrong, it would have been nice to have a darker tone on the roof, but metal tile works really well, so it's kind of nice as it is. I built the roofs up using the aforementioned pieces, including a 2x2 square roof on the patio area, along with single tile sloped sections at the front of the build. The roof definitely makes this build look a lot more complicated than it actually is, and I think that's a benefit in helping to visually break up the build and make it more interesting.
Finally, the detailing. I added some support at the front of the build for some more visual difference, along with placing awnings on the front porch and railings on the porch and around the patio. I also built a small 2x3 room onto the side of the porch, which will serve as a little private meeting area. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, I've added a small watchtower and an outhouse outside the tavern, along with a travelling fish salesman trying to sell his wares. Entering the tavern, I've decorated the build thoroughly to encapsulate the rough, genuine waterfront atmosphere that I wanted. The tavern is quiet at the moment with only a few patrons sat down. This includes two sanguineous men, a Zamorian traveller, a mysterious witch and a weary black hand pirate. In terms of decoration, I've tried to make the build as busy and as vibrant as possible, while still retaining that no-frills atmosphere I was aiming for. Behind the bar is a small kitchen where basic food is cooked and served. There is also a fairly sizeable store cupboard behind the kitchen where various different resources are kept including ale, rum, food, herbs and various other ingredients. Heading outside, the small patio is a nice addition that provides a bit of atmospheric variance to the build. If you've been around for a while, you might recognise the two people in this patio area, and I'm not going to say much, but they might be making another appearance pretty soon.
Heading upstairs, the catwalk corridor that surrounds the hall provides a nice level of verticality, and is the perfect place to take in the roof detailing. There's a small bathroom on this floor, along with two small bedrooms that patrons can use, for a fee, of course. There is also a Corsair pirate on this floor, with a vengeful look in his remaining eye. He doesn't even turn to look at us, it seems he's laser focused on that black hand pirate downstairs. I wonder what he's thinking. And there we have it, the Seahorse Tavern in the Savage Wilds, in Map Square G9. Thanks for watching, my initial design for this tavern was much smaller and, to be frank, much worse, but I took the time to redesign and rebuild it from scratch, and the tavern build is so much better for it. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like, and let me know what builds you want to see in the comments below. As usual, anything is welcome. There are new videos coming at least twice a week, so do feel free to subscribe. Only 20% of my viewers are actually subscribed to the channel, so if you're new here and you've enjoyed this video, or you've seen a few of my videos before, Hit the big red button to join the coffee cult, there are plenty more videos coming for you to enjoy. As usual, the links to my Twitch, Patreon and Discord are in the description. Don't forget you can get 70% of a 2 year deal with NordVPN when you visit nordvpn.org slash iradyt or use code iradyt at checkout. This is the final 70% off sale, so make sure you grab it so you can access everything on the internet safely, securely and anonymously with NordVPN. If you'd like to support the channel directly, you can become an esteemed cultist on Patreon, where you'll get access to exclusive Discord roles, sneak peeks of new videos, and your name at the end of every video. On that note, a thanks to our patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Blue Ivy, Velma, Shannara, Torn, and Eagle Rose. Again, thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.